Hospital setting is completely different from pulmonary rehab. For those who have been to a hospital and have gone to a respite or a therapist, a respiratory therapist has approached you, most of the time, okay, you know, like one respiratory therapist in a hospital have like 15 patients they have to see. You know, it's 15 patients and they have four hours to see them. You know, and that's that's really that's re, that's sometimes reality. You know, somebody's shift is like, all right, I have to be on the top floor. I have you know these rooms I have to go see. This person has ventilated. This person has trach. I need to do a trach change. They're not doing pulmonary rehab. They're fixing what you know to maintain nursing the problem. You know, which is fantastic. But you're looking at pulmonary rehab. You get that in a specialized clinic. Like we're a specialized clinic. All right, we're a facility. And we specifically work on patients that have lung disease and heart disease. So we're specialized in that. So hospitals will discharge their patients and send us a referral from that, you know, you know, for us to contact that patient to get that patient into pulmonary rehab with us. Okay, because in their hospital systems, they have respiratory therapists. I don't, I don't know any hospital that doesn't have a respiratory therapist because it's a vital, it's a very, very diverse, very specialized uh, practice, you know, pulmonary rehabilitation or just lung help and, and ventilators and stuff like that. Sure, in a hospital setting. Hospital setting is completely different from pulmonary rehab. When you look at a pulmonary rehab therapist versus a hospitalist, completely different backgrounds. They learn how to be, to be reactive, you know, how to react to an emergency, how to, what happens to at code blue or code red and things like that. You know, they, they learn how to uh, help babies out, you know, pediatrics to adults, how to take a mes- uh, respiratory medication properly. You know, they, they'll learn some of, some of those things and help you along with that, sure. And, what, and that's a great respiratory therapist to have in a hospital. They see a problem, they fix it right then and there, done. I mean, we get respiratory therapists like that, but we have to train them. We have to train them because all they know is being reactive. Sometimes prophylactic, you know, preventative, but they're mostly reactive. Those respiratory therapists are sometimes not looking six months down the future, educating you on what COPD is and exactly what types of therapies I should be doing and demonstrate. So you're not going to get a lot of that in the hospital. You get that in a specialized clinic. Like we're a specialized clinic, right? We're a facility. And we specifically work on patients that have lung disease and heart disease. It's a specialist. We are specialists.